So guys, we've actually got Andrew from Enerdrive here. He's brought one of the Enerdrive cars down, um, and he's actually going to show us some of the really cool stuff that um, that Enerdrive are doing, and some of the stuff that we can actually put in your camper trailer. One thing that people always ask us about is actually lithium battery. So Andrew, you've got a couple of lithiums on display. Tell us about them. Right, I saw what we've got here is our range of lithium batteries. So we've got our, yeah, we call it our entry level. This is the Elite battery. So this is a 100 amp battery. This is what uh, generally a lot of guys are running in the camper trailers so now. We put a lot of them in. They're a, yeah, they're a great yeah. battery. We're Run a thousand watt inverter off them there. And yeah, that'll get you out of trouble. So it cuts down weight. You're looking at, yeah, that's equivalent to roughly around two, two AGM, 100 amp AGM batteries. So 14 kilos over 60. Um, and we step up from there to your, your 125 BTEC. Now these ones have got Bluetooth capability where this one doesn't. So they also have the reset button. So exactly the same as these ones. One, two, five, usable. Yeah, you're looking at around 200, 220 amps, you know, equivalent of AGM. Once again, 16 kilos, so much lighter. So it's a game changer in terms of actually being able to run oh. stuff long, for long periods. If you're off the, on the road for a long period of time, um, yeah. it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's run, a runs everyone. longer, charges quicker. It's, yeah, happy days. And then look, we, we move up to the big, yeah, the big girl at the moment. We do have a new one coming out of 300 uh, late June, um, but uh, this one here is the 200. That's the most popular one we do. Now this this one here will run your 2,000 watt inverter, yeah. So allow people to run like your coffee machines, your induction cooktops, and yeah. What we're going to do is I was uh, saying to the boys earlier, we're going to run the air conditioner off my Ute with a 200 amp VTEC and a 2000 watt inverter. So just as a bit of a demo. How's that air conditioning runoff? Off battery power. It couldn't, you know, five years ago, would, would have been unheard of. Now it's, yeah, unreal. One of the uh, one of the cool things that, that of lithium batteries is actually the weight, isn't it? Because oh. I know a lot of people when loading up their camper trailers don't actually realize how heavy a battery is, um, especially when you've got two of them. Um, yeah, in terms well, of weight of them. Oh, here you go. So, whoop, a little bit of a strain there. Yeah, but uh, that's 24 kilos. So it's 200 amps battery. I was picking up one hand. You wouldn't have any more. Just yeah, just absolute weight saving game. If you can, if you can knock, you know, an extra 20 kilos, 30 kilos out of the out of what you're carrying in your camper trailer, um, save the fuel economy. It gives you more storage space for an extra case of beer or whatever else that you want to actually stick in your camper trailer. Do you want? Depending. If you're going on, if you're going on a wine or a beer tour, you, you can throw more cases in. You can buy more stuff. So, and then over here is a lot of stuff that we actually put in a camper trailer. It's a pretty regular setup. So um, obviously we've got DC DC charger and, and a 240 volt charger and um, and a 2000 watt inverter. Yep, pretty much um, nice. bread and butter stuff these days in, in most camper trailers and yep. everything like that because everyone wants to run. That's it. Just the everything. The, the basics. Yeah. Now, yeah. Camping is no longer camping. It's uh, <laughs> glamping. You've got to have your you've got to have co good coffee and uh, you know, be able to make pancakes, bacon, eggs, and all that. So, okay, so what's the basics for, for an Enerdrive setup in terms of your electrical yeah. system? So we've got uh, an induction cooker there and a, and a coffee machine. That's pretty much, yeah, well, that's, when I go camping, that's base, that's that's what I take, uh, well, obviously with the fridge. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually just, uh, we just, I just got a uh, air fryer. Yep. So that's gonna be the next next edition. Uh, Next in Canada. Yeah, I just uh, didn't bring it with me today. Um, so a big one is obviously coffee machines. I know we've set up a pod coffee machine in Bob. Um, uh, what what sort of power are you looking at to run a coffee machine? So that one there, um, that's around 1200 watts. Yep. Um, so it draws, and we'll, we'll actually go through it later. I can show you the actual draw uh, on the Ecro Plus battery monitor. Um, it, uh, you know, about 100, I think it's around 120, 122 amps for like five seconds just to heat everything up and then yeah, pushes the coffee pod through and it just drops just drops a, re a real rapid short term. that's all sort of draw it, I, I think on average for me to make two coffees and cook bacon eggs or pancakes i use around 12 percent of uh, a 200 amp battery okay so in the morning but then if you got solar and that that's charged up within at least an hour so it's not not dragging it forever it's no. back up and get back in action by lunchtime <laughs> no. yeah yeah, you're right, right to roll. So, so in terms of the setup of the, the canopy here, there's a lot of stuff that we wouldn't necessarily always put in camper trailers, but people can go into utes of cars or um, you've got um, ready to go systems. So we'll check yeah, that out. Yeah, cruise around. Yeah, what else you got? So, 
So we're actually, interesting point is we're actually looking at what we're actually going to set up the SCT200 with. So um, we'll be putting some of this stuff into that and that'll uh, make up a whole other video. But we're a little bit off that yet because we've got to get the drawers in first. But um, yeah, check out some of this gear. So basically what we've got here are two setups. We've got Caravan set up here. Yeah, um, yeah. With the up yeah, this is the up pro series setup. We've got a yeah, uh, 3000 watt inverter, 120 amp battery charger. Yeah. It's got a transfer switch, which there's a nice little plug on the back of the ute so you can plug into 240 if you, you know, if you got that and need to charge the battery up quickly. But this will run, that'll run the induction and the coffee machine at the same time, this, this inverter with the pro series. Yeah, right. What we've ran here is a separate uh, TriStar solar controller yeah so what that means is basically while you're driving you're getting whatever your solar panels are on your roof yep uh and then also from your dc to dc yeah. so if you've got yeah you know, say on one of your campus two one or two solar panels yep uh, on the hybrids um you might get around you know 15 16 amps off that then yeah. if you're getting 40 from the car you're getting 56 amps while you're driving along so once again just charges up a lot quicker so you take, it, take a short drive from one side to the next oh. and you're pretty much back up to 100%. You're done, yeah. 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 Um, what we've got here, this is the brains for this battery. So we've got, this is what we call an external BMS lithium battery or our Pro Series. Now we've got some few different shunts on here. So this is for the Cymarine setup here. So I, I like the Cymarine, so it's pretty cool. It gives you some function, yeah, a few different functions to our normal EPRO. So, got your percentage and what you can do here is you can actually have a breakdown of your your loads wow. so I've got my fridge here my sub panel yeah what the TriStar is putting in we're inside so it's obviously not putting in again but the DC is putting in 200 bit amps um, and our overall battery draw you can also include incorporate tanks on it cool. so yeah um, for camper trails and all that's all, all incorporated temperature so I've got some guys that they'll run in like Temperature in the van, yep. In the fridge, in the freezer, um, yeah. So they can. Um, well, you got to know what temperature you need your fridge out because if the beer gets warm, well, that's it's, it. Yeah. It's all over, really. And the beauty of this too, it's Wi-Fi, so it actually connects to an app to your phone. Um, look, another thing, inclemonitor. So you pitch in your roll, yeah, so yeah. you can see whether you, whether you, whether you're level or not. <laughs> Just another little function. Built-in barometer. Look, in all honesty. All I've been told is uh, if it's going down, it's good for fishing. That's oh yeah. When it comes to barometers, that's about all oh, I can tell you. I know a few people that would love that that little uh, that little toy. But yeah, as I said, that's Wi-Fi straight to your phone as well. So you get all that information, bang, straight on your phone. Um, so yeah, that's that system there. What we've got here in the corner is our adventurous setup, which is uh, our Ute Canopy series. Right. So that's basically almost a plug and play system. It is. Yeah. So, so come pre-built and... Yep. <laughs> um, so what you see in there in that board, that's that's how it comes. So you just wire into it that's and it's done. Cool. Now, with this, this is just, yeah, this has got the ePro Plus battery monitoring. So once again, your percentage, your voltage, you know, we're currently drawing three amps. Yeah, what's that, 40, 46.2 watts. Cool. 1.5 amps and we've got 57 hours remaining at this this thing uh now you can you can get uh which i'm, I'm finding along here um there's actually a brand new anna drive bluetooth dongle to go with the anna drive uh to go with the epro plus oh, cool. so you get all that information on your phone through an anna drive app um absolutely i, I think it's awesome uh you get number of cycles you get your average daily draw your average discharge um yes your in and your out everything it's yeah. just it tells you everything you want to know um that's only just come in right. so that's a brand new product sneak peek <laughs> no uh, so we got awesome. on on the board here we've got a dc to dc 240 volt charger and a 2000 watt inverter and that system's linked up to one of the 200 amp BTEC batteries that's cool Cool. Oh, well, what we'll do is we'll um yeah we'll go and grab some bits of equipment to um, hook up this. When I say bits of equipment, we just need a power cord and, and a van free. Um, and we'll show you how we hook that up, and we'll get that air conditioning running and see see what happens with it.
So guys, check this out. We've actually, we've hooked it up with to the um, 2000 watt inverter. We've run a lead all the way through into one of our hybrid bands, which has the uh, the air conditioning system on it. Um, it's just switched off because it's obviously reached temperature. Um, but what's it, yeah, what's it doing, Andrew? So, right on cue, it's switched off. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're currently running the whole van. I think it's the 13. Yeah, right, lights, off, radio, the whole, everything. Off, even the battery charger um, <laughs> off, off it at the moment. It's, uh, it's drawing 20 amps. Uh, we just had the air conditioner on um, and the whole system was only only drawing 70. Um, I'll be honest, that is that is fantastic uh, to be able to run an air conditioner at nice. 70 amps. Yeah, like, right. Generally, they run a bit higher than that, but yeah, I was, I was very surprised to see 70 amps. But this is Jet 2000 watt inverter. That's it, with a 200 amp lithium battery. Runs runs the air conditioner quite comfortably, no dramas. What we might do is we might. Uh, Go and uh, run around and see what's running from it. Yeah, go and have a look at the air conditioning unit and all that, but uh, we'll, we'll ramp it up as well, that way it'll kick back in and <laughs> we'll see that 70 amps coming out. So, you know we're telling, telling the truth, not porkies. Cool, <laughs> let's have a look at it. Go and look. Plus it's a 13, is it? So this is a 13 foot, um, 13 foot hybrid. Oh, so, yeah. 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 this way. Yeah, well that's why I've got, why I've got two doors. So we've got a lot of lights running. Uh, obviously all LED lights, which obviously saves the power a little bit. Um, but you've got lights here, all lights inside. Um, and what we what we install is actually a Horton Bell Air Air Conditioning System, which is a full reverse cycle air conditioning system, with, uh, which um, a lot of uh, air conditioning systems in vans actually aren't. Um, and we found it to be yeah pretty economical. So yeah, let's have a look and see, what, see what's doing. Oh, we're at 22 degrees apparently. That's, that's nice, that's pumping out. We got the the control. Yeah, we're that's a good question. We're it's either in that cupboard or it's in this cupboard. Uh, here we are. Let's um, let's put it down to 18. Um, that should uh, kick it in. That's sensational. Let's uh, jump back to the ute and see what it's drawing. See what it's drawing. Yeah. What? That, that's that blows out a fair bit. Oh, that's a good ute. Yep. Yeah, 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 give me half a sec. I'll yeah. come out and give you a hand. Yeah, Thank sure. You. Right, so the compressor still hasn't kicked in, so we're still only, still only drawing that 18, 19. Um, just have to uh, wait for it to uh, wait for it to kick in, and wait for it to kick in, and then we'll. Uh, Obviously, it's cool enough inside that we don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, like it's only like a 24 degree day today. We've uh, smacked it at 18, but we're inside, so. Um, yeah, see so how it goes. But we've been running the van now for oh, probably half an hour, 40 minutes, I'd say. And we've used, oh, uh, was that 99%, so. Yeah, was that 7%? Yeah, and you're not plugging the 240 volt <laughs> here, you're just no, here really we are. running. Air conditioners just kicked in right on cue, love it. So there we go, 75, 75 amps. Running the aircon, the battery charger, everything in that van is live off this 2000 watt inverter. <laughs> Unreal. That's awesome. Seen it here first. Tech, yeah. Technology, eh? Couldn't, couldn't have thought of something like that five years ago. So, look, um, but yeah, that's the future in action. At, the current, at this current draw rate, we've got four hours and 24 minutes left. So, comfortably cool the van down for an hour. Yep. Especially if you've got your solar panels set up and you'll be right and yeah.